Hello Team Ropers, Chad Mathis, Helomatic Ask the Pros. We've been gone for a couple weeks and we're back. Uh, got a whole new set of questions and so we're going to get fired back up. We're going to, for anybody that hasn't seen one of these yet, I'm sure most people have, but this is the new goat slider, super goat slider uh, that Helomatic makes. And there's nothing better for your kids. We're going to do the demonstration on this today. I wanted everybody to see one in case they haven't. Um, our question this week comes from Cole Simmons. And he had a great question. And I never would have thought of this, but we all go to a lot of open practices where we go pay $25, $30, whatever it is, uh, and we just kind of rope with whoever's there. And he was pretty frustrated the other day. He said, you know, I, I came over here to rope, and he said, I, I only got like three out of 15 steers turned. And he said, I'm frustrated because I don't know how I gained anything on my roping. And I said, well, Cole, there's things you can do to enhance your roping even if you're not getting steers turned. And what we got to remember, guys, is it's how we train. It's how we train. If we train the right way, when we get to the jackpot, things are going to seem easier. So here's two or three things, four things that you can work on in the practice pen when you're not getting very many steers turned. The first thing that I think a lot of people don't understand is how important it is for your heel horse to throttle across the line or throttle across the score line instead of just instead of you having to really push him or instead of instead of him just blowing across there with his head up where you don't have any control it's so important for that horse to be listening to you right there so so if you if you're in the box and a steer leaves really slow you can go ahead and start and get your haze, but you're not going to blow up there and push the steer left, especially in a, in a barn situation, which are a lot of open practice situations, okay? So that's number one. Control your horse across the line. Throttle him right there. Number two is, even if you're not getting steer's turn, you can always work on keeping that horse's shoulder up and keeping his nose to the inside where you're holding his body and not letting him go in there. I get a lot of horses over here people bring me to fix and you'll be going down the arena and the header will miss and the head horse will go to duck out a little bit anyway, which that's another video. But when the head horse goes to, goes to duck out, the heel horse, not even watching the steer, is anticipating the go too. That's, that's another thing that you can work on is holding your horse's shoulder up. Um, the other thing that I see a lot of times, you know, we're in barns or small arenas or the the chutes are over to the right, and you get this situation a lot. You got steers that you can't haze, and so they come out and they run in front of you. Well, that's another that's another reason that you have to be able to back your horse off right here, get out of your header's way, and then you have to be able to hold his shoulder up even longer because it's going to take. Since you're already straight behind the steer, you don't have this eight ten foot buffer this buffer zone for when he turns, you don't, you don't have any buffer here. So you're right here. So you've got to keep that horse's shoulder up even more. So in this situation, you're backed off, you're out of your header's way. If he misses, go to pick that horse's shoulder up and, and, and as you go down the arena, make sure he's stepping to the wall and, and stand like this. So there's a lot of things that you can get out of an open practice or, or a, a practice at your buddy's house if he's having a bad night heading. There's a lot of things you can get out of that if you just know what you're trying to get. So until next week, this has been Chad Mathis, Helomatic Ask the Pros. Um, we're uh, team number 82 at the BFI this year. Pretty stoked about that. So look for us out there, and uh, we'll see you next week.